Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. It's fight week, Usyk Chizora. Uh, delighted to be joined by Mr. George Cambosis Jr. Mr. Ferocious, how are you? I'm doing well, man. Fight week and uh, a few days out now. So I can't get the uh, smile off my face. I'm excited. Talk to me about your journey here. Did you go via where or did you come straight here? How did it work? No, I train in Miami. You know, I've always been in the US pretty much for the last seven fights. So um, I was in Miami for five weeks. Had a fantastic camp over there and just fine-tuned everything. Now we're ready. Um, time difference is pretty much you know, the same as here, a couple of hours um, behind. So there is no jet lag. There is no rubbish that Australian fighters get when they come here, when they're stuffed up by jet lag. We're, we're ready, man. Um, interesting fight this Saturday between yourself and um, Lee Selby. Uh, how much of Lee Selby have you kind of seen over the years? Look, I've seen a lot of Lee Selby. You, how much of Lee Selby have you seen over the last few years? A lot of Lee Selby. Yeah. I've seen a lot of Lee Selby. And um, I, mean, I feel like I know him better than he knows himself now. We have uh, got a great game plan, you know, a lot of holes in his game, and we're going to expose him on Saturday. Obviously, a uh, former world champion, uh, lost it to in his fight with, with Josh Warrington. Did you, did you watch that fight? I watched the Warrington fight. Mm. You know, and Warrington actually uh, reminded us of myself. Similar style, except for I'm faster, bigger, stronger, and more aggressive. I mean, so if he got done over by Warrington, it's going to be a lot more more punishment come my way. Would you say Selby represents the, the toughest challenge, at least on paper, that you would have had in your career? Look, I don't really get into that toughest challenge or, or you know what he's done. Um, I just know what, what what I possess, and um, I've had some good fights, some solid fights. You now my last fight was a former world champion. I believe that fight was a unanimous decision. Obviously, the judges scored a little bit closer, or one judge did. Um, but you know, we're ready. We're ready for this fight. We're ready for this challenge, and uh, you now we're excited. I can't wait. I feel great. You know, I'm on weight right now, and um, just ha ready to handle business. Extra intrigue, obviously, created by um, Tiafimo Lopez's win over Vasily Lomachenko, which means that the winner of this fight will be his mandatory Lopez's mandatory challenger. So. Um, I'm not saying you weren't up for this fight, but it's it's just a, a little bit more incentive there. Yeah, it is. It's an extra incentive, but um, you know that excites me. That motivates me because I know what's to come after this. Um, and you believe that fight will happen? I handle business against Lee Selby, which I will. Naive saw butts and um, Cambosis, Tiafimo Lopez for all the belts. That's that's the goal. That's the vision. And I have a great team, and we believe this fight will happen. George, what did you make of Lopez's win over Lomachenko? Um, surprise to some, not to others. Um, were you surprised? No, not really. I know, uh, you know the, the talent the kid has. And um, like I've been saying, this is a young man's sport. You know, the young generation is here. The hungry lions are, are here. Um, I'm part of the new wave that's, that's coming through right now. And like Selby, he's the old wave. Lomachenko is the old wave. Um, can't handle when the new wave is here. And he proved it, uh, Lopez against Lomachenko. And I'm going to handle the business and prove it again uh, this Saturday. Is it distracting, obviously, since Lopez's win, that obviously people will undoubtedly, like myself, be asking you about Lopez, but you've got a fight this Saturday, which you will be focusing on before you can even think of Tia Fimo Lopez? No, look, I'm focused on one man, one man only, and that's Lee Selby. But, you know, I mean, we know what's, what's at stake. We know the, that uh, Lopez is there. And like so, I'll be thinking Lopez as well. You know, we're in the same situation. Um, Bob Barron was, was mentioning my name and wanted to bring a massive fight between me and Lomachenko and a few fights ago. So that's always been on my mind. Um, that's the extra incentive, that's the motivation you know, to get through these former world champions, these guys that have been there, and take on the world champions. Um, look, I'm just, like I said, I'm excited. And look, Selby's had his time. He's been there and his time has come and time, and go and time has, has gone. Uh, it's my time. I'm just ready. I'm ready for this fight. I'm ready for this win. You believe you'll knock Lee Selby out this weekend? I think so. I believe that I'm going to stop this guy. I'm going to hurt this guy. I've got too much for him. I'm too strong for him. I'm too fast for him. Um, too much power. He's going to feel every bit of it. But um, look, 
Saturday is going to be a very interesting night. Uh, from seeing from his side, uh, they have a lot of confidence in themselves, but uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of loss of confidence come from round one. Well, who gave you the name Ferocious, or did you give yourself the name? No, the name was uh, brought up very early in my career as an amateur. I had taken a few school friends to come watch me fight uh, in the amateurs early in the piece, and after I beat up on, on a poor young kid, they turned around and said, that was, that was ferocious, Cambosis, and it just stuck. And look, the way I fight, I am ferocious. I come in there with bad intentions. Um, every bit of me is a savage. And look, you're going to see that on Saturday. It's, it's a savage versus a guy that's been there, that's civilised now. The man is civilised. Does he want it as bad as I want it? No chance in the world. George, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Wish you the best of luck this Saturday. It should be an intriguing fight card. It's Halloween here on the 31st. So, uh, yeah, expect the unexpected. Hey, it's Halloween and I'm a nightmare. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.